News 5 at 5 continues now. Now at 5.30, 13 months since the toxic train derailment and controlled chemical burn in East Palestine. And now, new findings adding to the pain and confusion in the community. But this is a really, really troubling set of circumstances. The NTSB now says the chemical burn didn't have to happen. Another bitter pill for a village still struggling to recover from the disaster. I think they just wanted to get the rail line open as fast as possible. As we return to East Palestine, we're also digging into what state lawmakers can do to prevent future train disasters. And that reaction continues to come in following yesterday's revelation that the controlled burn of toxic chemicals in East Palestine last year maybe didn't need to happen. The news came during a Senate hearing on Capitol Hill. The NTSB chair saying the decision to vent and burn the vinyl chloride was made with incomplete information. News 5's John Kosick went back to East Palestine today where the news was yet another blow for this recovering community. For over a year, the understanding was that those overseeing the train derailment and fire in East Palestine were faced with a binary choice of bad options. Benton burned the five rail cars carrying the dangerous vinyl chloride or risk having them explode. A decision that incident commander East Palestine Fire Chief Keith Drabick told our Tara Morgan last year they had just 13 minutes to make. There were, there were some heated moments of conversation. So the decision to vent and burn, which created a plume of smoke sending toxins into the soil and creeks, was one he stood by. Every decision we made was tough, but every decision we made throughout that process uh, was done under a consensus of all organizations here. But Wednesday on Capitol Hill, the chair of the NTSB said it was a decision that was made with incomplete information. Chief Trebek and Governor DeWine, she said, were unaware that experts from the chemical shipping company were on scene, but not part of the process that might have alerted them to this. But there was another option. Let it cool down. It was cooling down. Information that was not relayed. The fire chief was out of town and not available for comment. The city referred News 5 to the NTSB. As for the possibility of a third option, many here are not surprised. I've heard that over the last year multiple times. Bob Figley's hardware store sits just across the street from the derailment site. Somebody told me that was close to this situation that those weren't in, they were, were not in danger of exploding. That they just did this for the convenience of the railroad to get the trains running again. A claim raised as well by Senator J.D. Vance, who asked if Norfolk Southern did this not because it was necessary, but because it allowed them to move traffic and freight more quickly. In a statement to News 5, Norfolk Southern said in part, the final decision to conduct a controlled release was made by the incident commander with input from multiple stakeholders, including Norfolk Southern and local, state and federal authorities. The top priority of everyone involved was the safety of the community, as well as limiting the impact of the incident. Longtime residents, though, remain skeptical. I think they just wanted to get the rail line open as fast as possible. I grew up here. I raised my kids here. So I've been here for 66 years. So. Is it frustrating to know that there was another option? No. There's always another option they never tell anybody about. In East Palestine, John Kasich, News 5. And today, Governor DeWine issued a statement on the NTSB chair's testimony and about the decision to authorize a controlled burn. It reads in part, quote, the governor and incident command were also not presented any scenario where if officials did nothing, the train cars would not explode catastrophically. No one, not one single expert, opined that day about there being any other scenario occurring besides either a catastrophic explosion or a controlled release to prevent such an explosion.